So again, my name is Emily Hill, and I am so excited to talk to you today. We're going to talk about how you can land a six-figure job as a developer in six months. And I want to make sure before we get started that you can get absolutely everything you can out of the event today. So I'm going to probably be asking you questions. And so you guys have been rocking it in the chat. You can keep doing that. You can also raise your hand, you know, on your video, or you can raise your hand on zoom, whatever works for you. Love it. Oh, Vancouver, beautiful, beautiful location. Love that city. Awesome. So if you have a question while we're talking, please don't hesitate to put it in the chat. If I can answer it quickly while we're going, I just will. Others, we may have to wait for the Q&A at the end, but I'll let you know that and I'll note it down to make sure that we get everybody's questions answered, or at least as many as we can. And we can also continue the conversation after the event. Uh, and I'll, I'll share details with you about how to do that later on. Awesome. Awesome. Super, super excited. This is going to be so great. So again, I'm Emily Hill, and I am the founder of the Joy of Coding Academy, and my day job has been as an associate professor of computer science. I've been a professor for over 10 years. <laughs> I've also been a coding career mentor for a ton of students, and I'm the mom of four, soon to be five kiddos. <laughs> so parents in the house, I, I feel you wherever you are. <laughs> For sure. Love it. Love it. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm just curious, how many of you are ready to become a six figure developer? Can you guys raise your hand or post in the chat? So who's ready to become a six figure developer this year in 2022? Just let me know. Yes. Love it. Shelby's ready. Farouk's ready. Natasha. Yes. Bold. Yes, Ruby, everybody is ready, loving it. Oh, love that fire. That's awesome. You guys are rocking it. Thank you. That is awesome. You guys are being an amazing audience. Keep up the good work because you are going to get a ton out of our session today. Love it, love it. Let's get started. So I want to start with a question for you guys. It's a total guess. <laughs> it's a total guess. So, you know, before I share that, that strategy of how to become a six-figure developer in six months, would it be okay if I shared a little bit about my background, of how I learned to become a confident coder? Okay, so I want to share it. Awesome. And I have a question for you just to start. How many years do you think it took me to learn how to code? Don't worry, you won't embarrass me. <laughs> I can take it. But how many years do you think it took me to learn how to code. Just throw it in the chat. One, ooh, less than a year. Oh, you guys are good. Oh my goodness. Months, two years, or five. Oh my goodness. The oh, four. Shout out to all the moms. That's right. One. Oh, you guys are telling me it only took one year, five years. Ooh, that's the closest so far. Eight. Oh, we're getting we're getting really, really close. Would it surprise you guys to know that it took me six years to learn how to code? Now, I'm not saying it needs to take you six years. <laughs> I'm, think, I'm saying that's what it took me. <laughs> that's why I'm here today is to help you fast track it because I don't want you to have to take six years. Yeah, I'd love it if you guys were less than a year to, to get to get to where I did. So I spent six years trying to learn how to code. I started my senior year of high school. There was this really kind kid in front of me. I really had no clue what was going on. We'd get problems. I would try to type it. The kind kid in front of me would try to help me, but he, it was like he was speaking another language. How do people ever had that when, you know, just raise your hand, show of hands, who's like, try to talk to somebody who's really good at something. And it just, it's like, you're talking two different languages and you learn how to code doesn't mean you stop learning, right? Yes. Yes. That's good. But has anyone ever had that experience? Yes. I see it right. Where, where we try to talk to somebody who's super knowledgeable and it's just not getting in there, just not getting in there. Awesome. Awesome. So that was me in high school. And I was like, oh, well, I'm going to go to college. Let me get a computer science degree, then I'll know how to code, right? Like that's traditionally what society shares with us. Okay. So I tried it. I tried it and I still didn't know how to code. And it wasn't like I didn't do the work. I had a 4.0, my final two years of college, which in the U S is the highest grades you can get. So I was acing my classes in computer science, but I didn't know how to code. Okay. What's going on here? And so I was afraid to apply for jobs. Honestly, I was like, what computer science graduate doesn't know how to code? So I didn't even apply to jobs. I was just so afraid someone was going to figure out I was a fraud, which in hindsight, in reality, a lot of computer science grads didn't know how to code, but I didn't know that at the time. So I thought, okay, 
let me try more school because that's been working so well. Let me go to grad school. Let me, let me kick it up a notch, <laughs> right? And so I went to graduate school to get my master's in computer science. And what happened is I didn't necessarily get any more support to learn how to program from my professors. But what happened is they raised the level of the assignments to be harder. So their expectations were higher. So what ended up happening, I was in this pressure cooker where it was do or die. It was either learn to code or fail out of grad school. So I taught myself. <laughs> At the end of the day, I taught myself how to code, even though I was getting all of these degrees. So finally, I figured it out on my way to getting my PhD in my second semester of graduate school. And after I finally figured out is I realized it didn't need to be that hard or take that long, right? The shift from confused to confident can be as simple as a tweak in your thinking and your approach to learning. And that's what we're gonna talk about today.